Tuesday takeover. And we're taking over this call today because they asked us to, okay? So today, special guest, well, first of all, I wanna know where everybody's calling from. I gotta look and see how many people we got and where they're calling from. Um, let me look and see here. Let us know where you're calling from, guys. Where, what city, what state? We got Brad from Marietta. Brad Marietta. All right. Yeah. You guys wanna take that? Fresno. Man, South Carolina. South Carolina, my hometown. Uh oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just Maryland's in the house. Cool. All right, man. Who else is in there? Georgetown. Oh, that's some Carolyn. That was the lady I talked to earlier today. All right, we got people. Carl and Karen. Carl and oh, Karen. Brent. <laughs> Brent. <laughs> Cloudy Phoenix. Oh, Graham. <laughs> He's out in Phoenix. All right, we got. We got Jersey the Shore up in the house. Right. <laughs> we got the people from uh, all over the United States. My, my girl, Tammy Jones, is in the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of partners in the house tonight. So uh, so welcome, guys, to the Tuesday night webinar. Like I said, you're going to be hanging out with the coaches. My name is Barry. You got Bob over there. You got Steph down here. I mean, that's the way it looks on my, my panel. I don't know what it looks <laughs> like on your guys. But uh, tonight we're going to do something special for you guys. We're just going to introduce ourselves to you uh, about what we do and why it is so great to be a part of the partner driven family. And, you know, one of the things that Peter and Julie always talk about in this call, guys, is that this call is for two people, two sets of people. One set is generally our partners who we talk to every day. They get to see our smiling faces generally once or twice a week. And they hear us every day on our coaching calls, correct? Correct. Yep. Yeah. So for you guys, we appreciate you guys being on this call. The second set of people that we do this call for are people who, you know, always wanted to get into real estate, right? And some of them been on some of these weekend programs, you know, where they say, oh, we can teach you how to do be a real estate investor in a weekend. You know, we've all been there, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've also been, been trying to teach people how to um, graduate medical school in a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Right, Captain Obvious. Yeah. <laughs> I, I stayed at the Holiday Inn, so I'm smart now. Uh, and so that's, you know, and you spend a lot of money and all that good stuff. We know we've all been down that road. But it's for those people who come on every Tuesday just to hear Peter and Julie drop some knowledge. Okay. Peter and Julie have been doing this for... I'm not sure how many years they've been doing this Tuesday night webinar without fail. And so when they're on the call, they're truly trying to appeal to everyone. Listen, we, I think we have the best program out there. I mean, we've been around, I know Bob's been around, Steph's been around, we've been around a lot of programs. And this is by far the best program that I can say without a shadow of a doubt is out there. Sure. And the reason that I feel that way is because of us, well, I'm gonna say us three, but because <laughs> you can say it, you can say yeah, it. Can say it right? <laughs> because we actually, you know, support you guys. You know, a lot of other programs, you know, nothing bad against those guys, but you know, when it comes to supporting their people, I think they fall a little short compared to what we do. There's nobody out there doing what we're doing, mm -hmm. and so on this call, you know, we want to make sure that if you want to join us, right. I think the link is going to be in the chat. You know, if you want to join us, uh, go ahead and join. Click on the link. If you want to be a part of partner, if you want to learn more about it, go ahead and click on the link. Or you can call 770-746-8585 and somebody will answer your call. Uh, so, you know, that's as far as I go. Does any, I mean, uh, Bob, tell them what you think about the program real quick. Sure. I, I mean, I think that, um, you know, there's there's all kinds of like it's like you were saying about the you know, you can buy a book, you can buy a program that will support you on a weekend that you're there. Uh, but if you're talking about someone that day in, day out is a family and supports you on a day to day basis on five days a week, you could book a coaching call with Barry or with Stefan or with myself. And you've got a one on one person there who is going to be an, um, uh, someone who knows about their field. And so, I mean, like for an example, my field uh, or my field of expertise, I guess, would be marketing, Airbnb, accountability, and uh, just getting the ball rolling. Steph, um, you know, uh, probates and and the various things that he's done. 
Barry, the same, you know, we each have different things that we're kind of known for that we specialize in. So I think that if, if you're looking for something that is a family that pushes you forward, that, um, you know, holds you accountable, and that is on a day to day to day basis, you're not buying a book, you're investing in yourself to get into a family that's going to invest their time and energy in you. And I think that's the difference. There you go. What about you, Steph? Well, one of the things I think is fantastic is that um, we're not salespeople hired on by partner driven to sell their program. We're not even just uh, educators that have been trained to do education and they brought us on because of our education expertise and they want us to teach this particular product. All three of us are actual real estate investors. And it's not like we did real estate investing 30 years ago and we're trying to tell you what used to happen back in the day when I used to be out there in the field. No, we're active real estate investors. We're doing things right now. And so we know the industry right now. And so we are able to bring that expertise to you. And so the things that you would face yeah, as you go out there and build your real estate business, we're going to be able to relate to that. We bring relevant topics of you know laws that have changed and uh, options that are out there for the sellers that you may interact with. So you can be a person of value, as you often said on the training calls. So um, bringing that level of expertise and that current knowledge to me is invaluable. And like both of you said, uh, there's nothing else out there like this because I've been yeah uh, connected with other programs before. I've seen other stuff. I've been invited to the free afternoon thing and the <laughs> weekend training seminars and all of that. Mm -hmm. And um, not to say that there's no value in any of that, that there's no information in there. But what I've seen usually is the stumbling block for most folks is the, uh, as they say, the devil is in the details. It's that small little thing that you don't know how to answer. Then now all of a sudden you say, okay, hold up, wait a minute, let me not move forward because I don't want to make a mistake. And then you don't do anything. And it's because of a small thing, a little thing about a real estate contract or a little thing about the negotiating skills with the seller, a uh, little thing about how the closing happens. All of this information is stuff that you can get uh, from the coaches when you're talking to them. So, yeah, I think um, the fact that you've got five days a week of uh, unlimited coaching calls, that in and of the partner gym didn't do anything else but that. <laughs> that would be, you know, mind blowing in and of itself. And that's just one component of the partner driven program. Yeah. yeah. And He's I think he's absolutely yeah, right. I, I think you are. And, you know, I mean, I was just going to echo that. I was just going to tell you a couple of recent successes that I've had in one of the fields that I kind of coach a lot of the partners on. So we had our first guest in our first RV Airbnb. For those of you who don't know, I've got a pretty successful Airbnb business here in North Carolina, and uh, we're bringing in RVs. And we had our first guest in an, in an RV Airbnb, which is kind of a totally different experience. So um, I think that one of the things that, and um, Steph really kind of hit on it is the idea that it's always expanding. You know, if you want to talk to somebody who went to the moon in, a, in an Apollo rocket, I think that'd be a little bit different than somebody who's flying there in a, you know, in a, uh, in a, in one of the most recent rockets that's today everything changes, everything grows, everything, the growth kind of idea. And I think that one of the things that we're full of is growth mindset people and people who are, you know, pushing the growth mindset and to push forward. And uh, you're not going to get that in a book, guys. You really are not going to get that from a book. Isn't going to happen. Right. Exactly. And so both of you guys hit the nail on the head. We try to stay relevant. Yeah. And one of the ways that we try to stay relevant is through our technology, right? And so as a partner, you know, some of you guys have been on the webinar where we talked about the deal driven app or we talked about the deal engine and we have those things and those things are there to help you navigate and accelerate your investing career just by providing simple data. Right. And then so what we're going to do on this call is each one of us is going to take a little bit of what we do, whether it be, you know, the accountability or the Airbnb or the probate. And I'm gonna talk about one of the things we have is a deal-driven app. We're gonna just share those things with you guys who are, maybe you're thinking about becoming a partner. You've been coming to this webinar on and off for a couple of months, years, however long it's been. And you're like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We're just gonna give you a little bit 
of a teaser of how it is when you're actually talking to one of us or when we're doing our daily training calls, okay? And so um, what I'd like to do is remind everybody, if you decide you wanna become a partner, then go in the chat. we got the uh, link in there. Uh, Kristen has you know, put it in there for us. The phone number is also there, 770-746-8585. If you call that number now, somebody will talk to you and get you started joining our partner program, okay? So check this out. She did put something in the link that makes a lot of sense. All of our coaches are, are former partners, or still partners, really. But we came from the, the family, right? Uh, I was the first one. I got dubbed D, <laughs> the first one. Um, I think a year later, we dubbed Bob the next one. And a few months after that, Steph and the next one. And we do have another one coming because we're growing so much, guys. I mean, if it wasn't doing such a great job, we wouldn't be growing like we are right now. And so we just want to make sure you guys understand that. So, um, Bob, I'm going to let you kick it off. Just remember. <laughs> Absolutely. You know me. I'm always pretty sure. <laughs> I thought um, you were going to make sure you told that to me because I'm usually the one. <laughs> you're next. You're next. <laughs> uh, sure. So um, I, let me just throw out, um, I mean, the um, the accountability, I think, is really important. But um, I just want to leave you with some nuggets that will help you kind of uh, maybe take something away from this right now and take something that you can use. So let's just say that you book a call with me and you want to talk about Airbnbs. Great. I'm going to give you three assignments right off the top of the head, top of the bat. Number one, I'm going to tell you to go to Airbnb.com and look at Airbnbs in your area. Look at what they're going for. Look at how much they cost and look at their availability. And then we're going to get that information. And from that information, we'll be able to craft how you can turn that extra room into cash coming in every night. I keep my beds booked. In fact, all my beds, except for my RV, which is kind of a new thing that we're trying out, um, are booked now through the end of, or I'm sorry, through the middle of October. Um, and it's much better to have a filled bed than an expensive bed. And I kind of craft the way that you would work your business around that. I know a lot of people with $80 beds. I would never have an $80 bed. I can always find a hotel that's cheap if I'm traveling on my own, especially I can find an $80 a night hotel. That's an easy fix. But for me to stay at an Airbnb, it has to be low cost. It has to feel like a home. And we take great pride in it feeling like a home in each of our Airbnbs. There's artwork in each of our Airbnbs. There's a coffee pot. One of us greets the Airbnb guest who's checking in. That's why we have a check-in time frame. So I get you thinking about this. I get you going through questions. I get you answering questions. And before long, you have an Airbnb business plan. Doesn't have to be real detailed, but it does have to be thought out. For an example, who's going to stay at your Airbnb? Currently, where I'm sitting at, I'm about 15 miles from the back gate of Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And in this particular Airbnb, I would say, probably 60% of my guests are from Fort Bragg, North Carolina. So all that to say, these are all factors that you need to consider and think about. If you want more details and you want somebody to hold your hand and walk you through that, that's an easy fix. Join Partner Driven, book a coaching call, and we'll go through this step by step. Okay. So uh, one thing I do want to point out about that is that, yes, we do have core uh, program that we use to go by. But this is something that Coach Bob does, okay? And if you actually want to learn about the Airbnb, that's the guy, okay? So make sure you, you know, when you join, and if that's where you want to go, uh, make sure you understand that when you join Partner Driven, we do have a specific um, schedule or, or criteria that we use for the program, okay? It has nothing to do with the Airbnb. Oh. However, like he says... We yeah. are, you no, know, so yeah. we are, we yeah. are investors and mm -hmm. we also, you know, when people ask questions, we, we can answer those questions and you can kind of guide them that way. I mean, that's the, the difference between us and everybody else. We do stick to our program. So if you're trying yeah. to submit a deal to us, you're going to have to follow those guidelines. Mm -hmm. However, yeah. if you have an interest on something else, then we don't mind helping you out in that situation. But just remember Partner driven is not going to fund your Airbnb program. Uh, but if you do some deals, you mm -hmm. can take the money that you do deals with oh, yeah. 
and it will do you start your business. Okay. But that's great stuff because he, you know, he knows it. So that's I another talk, asset. I can talk about accountability or marketing or mindset too. <laughs> 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 I I sent that email that text out and I'm just like oh. I'm gonna let you do what you want to. But anyway, that's good though. <laughs> I appreciate that, bro. Okay. Uh Steph. Oh uh, yeah. My big thing is that um, like you said, I was a partner before I was even uh a coach here with partner driven. And one of the things that drew me to partner driven was the app, the deal driven app. Uh I thought that was phenomenal. Um, because two of my main uh, strategies with lead generation is uh, driving for dollars and probate leads. Mm -hmm. But uh, even with the driving for dollars, you know, if I would go out, I see a property, I had to jot down the property on the notepad, take a picture of the property. Then when I got home, I had to remember which property picture went with which address that I wrote down. I still had to try to skip trace this information I had to keep all this information somewhere. Back in the day, I used to just keep it in an Excel file, which wasn't always the most efficient way to keep it. It was better than nothing, but it was still challenging. With the deal driven app, I can do everything right there. I can save the uh, property, um, look it up, look up the owner's name, skip trace it. I can even call the person right there while I'm sitting in front of the house if I wanted to. So um, when I saw that by itself, I was like, yeah, I need to be a part of the partner driven program because, you know, this app is phenomenal. And then when it was all the other features that partner driven offers, I was hooked. But it also just helped elevate my business because like um, both you and Bob have said, one of my big lead generating sources is um, probate leads. So I've shared that with lots of people on how to generate leads. Um, because there's lots of different ways to generate leads. Some people use bandit signs. Some people um, do um, um, uh, referral marketing, like um, Bob has mentioned in the past, like getting uh, pizza delivery people to help you find properties. Um, so there's lots of different ways. One of mine I like the most is uh, probate leads. So I've talked to people and told them how to go to the courthouse, get the, that information, and um, follow up with those people and you can still keep all of that information in your deal driven app so you can stay organized so um it's great information uh, i love helping people i think that's one of the big pluses with all the coaches here we all have that uh drive to help people and help others succeed uh because there's plenty of uh in, there's plenty of deals out there it's not like oh if i help these folks get a whole bunch of deals i'm not gonna have any deals no it's not a shortage <laughs> you know out there so everybody can get plenty of deals out there. And um, we also uh, act as cheerleading coaches to at times help encourage people. Sometimes life happens. You know, most of the time life happens and it's going to uh, be frustrating and discouraging sometimes. And you need somebody to bounce an idea off of and help get you organized again. The coaches can help you in those arenas as well. But having that person that's a skilled real estate investor be somebody that you can talk to pretty much whenever you want to. I don't even know how you put a price on that. You know, um, I would have loved for partner driven to have existed when I first started, because that was part of the challenge I had when I first started. I was like, I can't really get anybody to answer my questions without, you know, giving me the side eye or giving me a piece of an answer or whatever. And if I did happen to get somebody to give me something, it was just a piece and it's not like I could come back to them and say, I'm calling you again tomorrow. And I said, no, you know, so it was challenging. So when I first got started, I made myself a promise that I said, once I learned this industry and was able to um, know how to operate it, that I wanted to be the person I was looking for when I got started. And so I have that opportunity being here partner driven and being able to be a coach for folks. So, and when I hear the sparks, um, to go off in people's heads and like, oh, thank you for that advice, Stefan. And then especially when I see the deals on the books and I know I help them uh, come up with their numbers and things like that for those particular properties, I feel like I I had something to do with that deal. Now I don't get none of the money, you know, <laughs> but I'm happy for them, you know, <laughs> you know, but right. it does still encourage me. And uh, because I do deals also, like I said, I closed on a deal uh, just a little while ago that um, that I've done. So. 
uh, I'm out there actively working on deals. And I got one in, um, that I'm working on right now because I was out networking. And we talk about all the coaches talk to the partners about being out there networking, uh, networking and um, letting people know what you're doing. So you've got to be able to market yourself, um, talk to people and feel confident that you've got partners and you've got business partners in your back pocket that have done hundreds of thousands of deals. And you can talk to somebody on the team any day. You know, again, I don't think people fully understand just how amazing that is. So I know that's right. That's my two cents. Yeah, I know that's right. Good stuff, guys. Um, they don't. Just like you, I wish I would have had somebody when I first started out, especially when I got that first, what a second home on the contract, which is a HUD home. And if you've never done that before, you don't know the process. You're learning this yep. process. And then if you don't have buyers, at the time I didn't have any buyer. And you always say, if you don't find no buyers, you're going to lose your earnest money. Yep. And that's what I was really afraid of. Because you know you ain't got no money when you first start. <laughs> when you first start, yep. yep. <laughs> and so I put that money down. I was like, oh, my God, I'm trying to find a buyer. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Thank God they, they felt sorry for me. They gave my earnest money back. <laughs> mm -hmm. But those types of things we go through and it's our experience that we are able to, you know, give you guys. And like he says, we're all still out there actively doing it. Me personally, I'm here in California and uh, my business partner, I've been talking and we just got a hold of another realtor out here who's actually, uh, he just finished his own flip where he netted 900 K that's his profit. Nice. And so we're going to be working with him because he <laughs> wants to work with us. Wow. And he's he's going to be something that we're going to be able to utilize out here on the West Coast. Uh, but, guys, if you have not decided to become a partner, uh, please take the opportunity. If at anything, just give us a call. You know, click on the link, get somebody to call, talk to you, or just call 770-746-8585 and just listen to what's going on, right? Because this doesn't happen every day. I mean, there's a lot of programs out there. There's a lot of people doing a lot of things, but I, I can't, I, I keep coming back. We still are head and shoulders above everybody else just because of the, the, the commitment to our people, the coaches. We, we really do care about you guys. We want to make sure you get the best. Peter and Julie, they really care about it. Peter didn't have to set this up, you know, but he said, look, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to do more deals. I want to help people. And then he got Julie. And so, of course, Julie, she cares about everybody. And so she's yeah. doing deals and, and it just grew, 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 and it continued to grow. And so, guys, if you take the opportunity, just get on the line, click the link, call the number uh, and all that good stuff. Let's see. Do we have any questions? Uh, let me look and see. Nothing right now. Um, you did mention something about the deal driven app. OK, and so one of the things that we try to do is we try to improve upon this app all the time. Everybody who's using it, you know, if they find something wrong. They send a text or an email to me or they send an email to the support line. Well, one of the things that they just recently approved upon is the comp comparables. And so if I'm able to, I, I want to share that so that people can see that real quick. If I'm able to, let me see if I can share. Uh, he said, wait a minute, there are some questions in the Q&A section. What is the Q&A section? Oh, there we, the there we go. All right. Terry Moore, what's up, Barry? It's been a while. When did you start? Oh, <laughs> when I start the beer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. See, Omar Rahim. So when I have a question on anything, whom would that question go to? Never mind that question. What are the hidden costs? <laughs> smart answer right? I said what is the longest and the shortest time you can close a deal somebody always asks that yeah mm -hmm. all right uh so Omar um the hidden cost there's no hidden cost once you get on the line with uh, the individuals who handled the you know the uh intake uh call the number they go through everything and then you make the decision right then and there okay there's no uh well, once you get in, you're going to have to pay an additional $8,500 just to talk to the coaches or get this, this or that. There's nothing like that. It's all included. So you just go ahead and 
reach out to them, give them a call and talk to them, make an appointment. That's all you can do. That's the best you can do. Um, but you know, now, me, can I ahead. jump in on like, you know, how long it takes to get a deal? <laughs> um, because I get, you know, we all get that question a lot, especially from people who are just getting started and that kind of thing. Well, how long is it going to take me? How long is it going to take me? And I, my fallback is always to get back to the story of the chicken and the pig and breakfast. You know, um, a chicken and a pig were walking down the street and there was a sign in the store window and the sign mm -hmm. said, um, help wanted. And it was, it was a restaurant. And so they went in and they said, yeah, we need, we need, you know, breakfast. We need something for breakfast. And the chicken said, well, you know, great. I can do that. I can help. The pig said, yeah, you're dedicated. I'm committed. If we do this, if we take this job. So I think you can, you kind of have to make a, make a, uh, a decision, whether you're the chicken or the pig, you're going to have to be a pig in this thing. You're going to have to be committed. And, um, you know, it, it's one of those deals where you can't go in and just lay an egg. You're going to have to be the bacon. You're going to have to get out there and you're going to have to push and you're going to have to market. Um, you know, for those of you who, who uh, don't know, I've got these little marketing cards. And on one side, it says, we buy houses any condition it has my phone number. On the other side, it says, we pay a referral fee. Commit to getting 200 of those cards out a week. Commit to getting 300 um, text messages going per week. Commit to marketing. And when you commit to marketing, you're committing to building your business. One of the, one of the um, I don't want to say one of the oldest partners we have. One of the, one of the more senior partners that we have um, is this amazing guy, Dale. And he'll, he will constantly tell you that he's made 99% of his deals by word of mouth, by just connections, by just networking. Stefan tapped on it. Uh, Barry tapped on it. It's all about getting out there and being a pig. If you're ready to be bacon, get in. You know, I mean, that's that's the best thing I can say. If you're ready to be bacon, get in because this is a contact sport. If you ain't making contact, baby, you ain't even on the playing field. So you have to get in with the idea that this isn't being done for you. This is a group of people who are committed to doing it and they want the encouragement and the structure and the the um, accountability and the, the family atmosphere that's going to give them the right mindset and the right push to get there. Um, so yeah, you got to be committed to be the bacon, but then you have to realize what you're buying into. So that'd be my words of wisdom. Nice. I'd, I'd also say it's the same thing. Yeah. Um, you can't, uh, I've often said when people have asked how long does it take to get a deal done? I say, does it really matter for somebody? Because what if I said uh, several of the partners are doing deals within a week? Does that mean you're going to do a deal in a week? Not necessarily. Uh, what if I said it takes everybody a year? Does that mean it's going to take you a year? No, you might do it in a week. Somebody else's activities and what they're willing to commit into their business has nothing to do with you and your resources and your level of commitment. So you've got to determine what you're going to put into the business. Like Bob said, what's your level of commitment? If we said we were here training track stars, you know, the Olympics just happened and said, we're going to train you to be a great track star. Uh, and they said, yeah, well, I'm already fast, you know, but I could use a little more training. All right, well, we're going to start training on Monday, but like, oh, no, I can't make Monday. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, got something else I got to do. I can't, you never come out there. You never train. You can't, and then you go and have a, a meet and you don't finish in the top, you know, group. You didn't train like we took, you're not doing the work. And so you've got to be willing to commit to do the work. And that's in building any business but especially in building this business, you got to be willing to do it. And so if you're putting in the level of commitment, the only promise that I can tell you is that you will succeed. Uh, the time period, as far as when you succeed, I can't give you a guarantee on that. Nobody can. And But I can tell you that if you keep putting in the work, you will succeed. That's just like I said, if you put together all the pieces to build a car, you eventually going to build a car. I can't tell you when that car will be completed, but I can guarantee you're going to build a car. You keep putting all the pieces together that are required to build a car. You're going to end up with a car. So you got to be willing to do the work and how much time and energy and effort you put into it is totally up to you. We're just here to support you and do everything we can to help you succeed so that you have no excuses. Yeah. And, right. and Linda just asked a question, which was a really good question. Uh, Linda, the difference between the deal driven app and the deal. You got to answer. You got to answer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're, you're like, ah, I got to get this. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> no, um, but uh, you guys are absolutely right with this, uh, you know, doing the deals and stuff. You know, one thing we always say, this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. You're going yeah. to have to put in an effort, but utilize, utilize the resources. One of the things that most people think about, I got to have money to do deals. Well, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I got to know how to do these contracts. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, so how do I get leads? Somebody's asking in the chat, how do I get leads? Deal-driven app, driving for dollars, band design, you know, Facebook ads, all those things, they all work in hand in hand, okay? Somebody's asking, how do I set an appointment with the coach? Well, once you become a partner, right, then we can tell you how to schedule a coaching call. I cannot put that out there right now because not everybody on here is a partner and we don't want no randos coming in asking us questions and they're not a part of the partnership. No pun intended, no disrespect. I'm just saying we have a protocol. So we want to make sure if you want, if you're really serious about this, reach out to, uh, I forgot who's doing this tonight. Is it Jamie? I think uh, Jamie is answering calls tonight. Okay. There's a yeah, couple so, of them answering calls, Barry. Oh, okay. So we have a couple of people on the team answering calls. So, you know, click on the link or just dial 770-746-8585. Let's get you plugged in. And then we can go from there. Uh, somebody asked on here, what if I find a good deal on the MLS? Bob, what is your answer to that? <laughs> um, I mean, well, you have to kind of look at the MLS and ask yourself several questions. Number one, um, how many people have already picked over it, which is generally just a few billion of your closest friends. Um, and outside <laughs> of those few billion, you've also got um, bots to be concerned about. So there are bots that basically scour the MLS. They scour the MLS for big time investors. They scour the MLS as soon as something gets put on the MLS. They scour the MLS for hedge funds. Hedge funds are another concern because hedge funds will pay dollar for dollar. You're not going to win this game on the MLS. 15, 20 years ago, maybe. Today, it's all about going direct to the seller. It's all about going direct to the person who owns the property, whose name is on that title. There you go. That's the answer you're going to get from all of us. Uh, and that's holding true, direct to seller. Um, we got somebody I would even else. say this, Barry, uh, yeah, on that. I always tell people that you're trying to build a business here. And in building a business, you have to know how to get these leads and the best way to get discounted properties. You're not going to consider, even if you randomly got lucky and found a decent deal on the MLS, you're not going to consistently be able to do that. So how are you going to have a business if you can't consistently get deals? So if you are only getting things on the MLS, you're hoping that a real estate agent is talking to a seller and talking them into listing their property at a low enough price so you can find it on the MLS before anybody else and then put it under contract and hope to get a deal out of it. Doesn't seem like the best business model in my opinion, but you know, you know, <laughs> I only know a little bit about real estate investing. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay. So we have uh, another question in here that says, uh, is this partnership program open to luxury homes? My niche is 500 to over a million dollar properties. All right. So really what that, that tells me is that uh, wherever you're living at, in Michelle, if you're out here in California, you That's know those types, house. there's a two bedroom <laughs> house, right? You know, so those houses are available, but you know, in all honesty, we try to stay in the medium range, right? And it really depends on what the medium range is in your neck of the woods. Not, you know, where it is in Florida versus where it is in Georgia, you know, it's all different everywhere. And so what we always say, if the numbers work, then we can do the deal, okay? That's how we go by, we go by numbers. If the numbers say we can purchase this house at 70% of what it would sell on the retail level, minus any repairs, if we can get it under contract for that, we can do a deal. That means we can turn around, if we have to do a little work to put it back on the market, we can. 
Or maybe we don't need to do a bunch of work. We just can clean it out, put it back on the market and sell it at the retail price. So it really just depends on the numbers. What you get the property at uh, and what we can sell it for. And we go through all that with our formulas once you become a partner. Uh, we, don't, we don't try to let the emotions, that's one thing that you cannot do in real estate is allow emotions to dictate you know, the deal. You know, like I got this house, man. I know if we just added a pool and throw you no know, 40 acres on the backside and throw some barns up, well, we, we can make a whole two bunch more of stories, make right. it a three two, story. Make it a three story, <laughs> right. You know, mm -hmm. that's time. Mm -hmm. That is money spent on some you could spend that money on the holding cost alone doing something else, getting two or three more houses on the property on the contract. So you gotta think about it in those terms. Now, and if that's your niche and it's what you've been doing, you know, more power to you continue to do that. But with us, we do have a structure and we are going to follow that, you know, structure. Now, and everything is negotiable, but we tend to stay within our guidelines because that's what makes people successful, getting those deals, turning them out, not spending so much time on them. I would say this also, Barry, it's uh, not just because that's what makes people successful. It's what we already have a proven track record of succeeding in so you know we get people sometimes with various skill sets that want to come in and i guess uh give their advice on our business model where our business <laughs> model has already worked nationwide on closing hundreds and hundreds of deals so why should we change what's already working so understand that we have our business model and we are going to stick to that business model because it's a proven success I view it, uh, uh, I can show my age a little bit. I remember back in the day when Coca-Cola, who is the leader of the software, uh, soft uh, drink industry, decided to change their formula into New Coke. And then they, uh, I don't know if you remember New Coke back <laughs> in the day. New Coke. I remember, I remember that. <laughs> New I remember Coke that. back in the day. They had a 100-year formula that was leading the industry. No, Coca-Cola, top of the industry. And they decided the brilliant idea to change their formula. To new coke and it was the biggest colossal failure that they had ever done and they quickly changed it back and so it's like why change what is working and so right now we're going to stick to the the guidelines of what we do here partner driven because it works it works in every state it works in all the cities around the country because we've got partners all over the country who are doing deals and are following our formula so I would recommend that if you come on board with Partner Driven, stick to the formula that we've got. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. You know, it works. We already know it works. We don't have to wonder if it works. <laughs> We're closing deals, you know, almost daily, you know, so we know it works. It works. You got anything to add to that, Senior uh, Bob? No, I mean, I, yeah, I just... Um, um... <laughs> get in and decide that it's, get in and decide that it's something that you want to do you know i mean it's something that you've got to you've got to want um you know you can't get in with the idea that it's going to get done for you and i keep falling back to that because um that's what i see is like the biggest reason why people don't succeed um there's two reasons why people struggle with this number one is they don't get in and get plugged in they don't go to the daily training calls they don't book the coaching calls they don't follow the structure but then the other thing is that they they don't want to put forth the effort. You know, I, I would just tell people this is kind of like buying a franchise, but there's not a franchise in the world that's going to tell you, yeah, OK, you buy our franchise and you won't have to do any work. I mean, that's the, buying the franchise is the beginning. That's the starting point. Um, and you have to decide that it's uh, something that you want to build because it's it, it goes from there. So, yeah. Nice. That's so true. Um, don't look like we have, we got what, q and I I don't think we have that many in there. Mm -hmm. I know she's asking, what's she, what she asking? I think it's being asked, answered right now, isn't it? I did see somebody in the chat ask earlier uh, about 24-hour um, support on there. Now, we don't have 24 hours, but we've got a lot of support, but um, I don't think anybody's answering calls at 2 in the morning. <laughs> you know, best not you know, best not call me no two o'clock <laughs> I, I thought Steph was taking that, that, that oh well, I know y'all been, 
Yeah, we're going to put him on the late, 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 late. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a, a situation. We've got a lot of support here, and we do everything we can. That's why we grow, as we continue to grow and we recognize that our time slots are filling up faster, then they've added coaches. That's why, you know, it started off when Julie was the coach, you know, mm -hmm. with it. She realized she couldn't handle it all, and that's why she brought Barry on. And then after a while, I realized that she and Barry couldn't handle it all. That's why they brought Bob on. And then they brought me on. And we're bringing on another coach soon. You know, we'll be bringing on additional coaches in the future as we continually grow. So we're here to support you guys as much as possible. I do um, tell people all the time, you've got to be reasonable with uh, things. I had somebody uh, ask me for the umpteenth time today, you know, can I just call you directly on your cell phone if I have a question? Now, we don't have stuff like we're not trying to hide our cell phones and we're not trying to hide our email addresses and stuff, but we can't just promote that on there because then our phones will be blowing up 24 seven and then we would get calls at two in the morning. And like, I can't be on 24 hours a day. You know, we actually have lives. We actually have real estate businesses and we have families and stuff that we have to actually <laughs> spend time with also. Um, this is a very personable business. We do our uh, best to um, not just give you cookie cutter answers um, to actually walk through your questions and make sure you have an understanding of what you're doing. Uh, we're not saying, oh, yeah, we're the coaches here. And then the, all three of us have our assistants. I remember when I was in college back in the day, I, uh, I went to Florida State years ago. And, you know, at a big school like that, you sign up for some of these large classes and they got professor so-and-so is teaching this class. But you never see the professor. They have teaching assistants that actually teach the classes. And so you never actually see the professor. And so we're not like that. We don't have assistants that we're saying, oh yeah, schedule a coaching call with Coach Barry. And then he has his assistant actually get on the phone to give you uh, a script that they reading off of to answer your questions. Or I'm, gonna like John, that. No. I'm gonna have John John answer the call. John, John. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're there to answer your questions, to go through your issues with you, to pull up your comps, to look up so we can give you legitimate answers and um, and help guide you in what you're doing. But, um, yeah. and so, like I said, I think even before I was a coach here, I was singing Partner Driven's praises. Um, I think it's phenomenal. And I know directly that there's nothing out there like Partner Driven. So, you know, even if you say, well, Partner Driven's not, you know, for me, cause you don't have enough, you don't have 24 hour coaching calls. I challenge you to find anybody out there that's got 24 hour coaching assistance out there. Please let me know. I would love to find out about this magical place. You know? <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say there were some questions on where the coach is located and some of the some coaching questions. Once you're a partner, you can book coaching calls with us. Um, typically we start like nine o'clock and I think we got coaching all the way. I mean, this is Eastern time. Cause I'm on the East coast. I'm in, I'm in Broadway, North Carolina, just outside of Fayetteville. Um, we have coaching calls that start at nine and typically go till about what, it, what's your last seven, call? About 7, 7 Eastern yeah, time. PM, seven, yeah. yeah. Barry's yeah. over there on the uh, left coast. He's over there on the California <laughs> stuff. Um, and, um, uh, and then, uh, and then Steph, you're down in Atlanta, right? Yep. Yep. And we, and, um, and the good thing about it too, it's not like, oh, I scheduled a coaching call with Bob and, you know, and so, um, you know, I, but I need some information and maybe Bob didn't have the exact information I want, or maybe Bob has somebody else who's requested him directly. Now we try not to do specific coaching call requests, but sometimes it's a situation where somebody has an ongoing scenario. They might've been working on a property and they've been talking a couple of times to a particular coach. Then when they schedule a new coaching call, they get a different coach. Well, if that other coach is available, we'll adjust accordingly and say, hey, can you take this call? Because they've been talking to you about it. You're already up to speed on what's going on with this particular situation. Now, we can never guarantee that. But if at all possible, if we can do that for you, we're going to do what we can because we're going to do everything we possibly can to give you the best support that's going to allow you to succeed and allow you to move quickly and allow you to move with good information. So we work amongst ourselves to make sure we're there for you guys. So, you know, I like the, I like the idea too, that as a coach, I actually like these two guys here. Don't tell them I said that, you know, <laughs> keep that a secret. <laughs> 
Go ahead, Bob, because I know you got something you want to say. Go ahead. I know what it's about to. Go ahead. Say it. Say it. What? Say it. what? <laughs> I'm the only long haired. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am known as the long haired coach. I would say that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I am known as the only coach who doesn't in some way resemble Yoda, but that's as far as I'm going to go. That's as much as I'm going to say about that. And so, yeah. Okay. All See, right. I wasn't going to go there. I wasn't going to say anything, but you know, you brought I it know. up. I brought it up. It's my bad. I, I'll take the, I'll take the lick for that because somebody <laughs> said we went almost 45 mm -hmm. minutes without the hair being brought yeah, up. Yeah, that's usually the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's fun. That's me. Okay. So listen, guys. <laughs> <laughs> somebody you know if you really want to become a partner if this is something that you really want to join please click the link make an appointment or get on the phone and call 770-746-8585 somebody will talk to you and get you pointed in the right direction are we always this funny yes yes <laughs> we are. We, we, <laughs> i mean you might as you might as well ask if their heads always shine because <laughs> it's by god it's true um, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so we're always like this we were like you said this is a family or anything we like to have fun but we also know when to take things serious and your success is serious to us we really do care what you do with this now like Bob has, you know, he's doing an accountability group with a small group of people. Uh, it's going to be like going to boot camp, right? You know, he's not pulling any punches. He's going to make sure that you're going to take this serious because you put up the hand. Those guys put their hands up and says, I'm going to be committed to this. Now, if they don't do what they're supposed to do, uh, I can't say, I can't save you. You know, you out. <laughs> he already said they're going to be out. So we're going to be that way. But we also know that we have to look at your situation. We talk to you. We, we, we understand that life gets in the way. But we also know that you said, yes, I want to do this. And we're going to hold you accountable for that. So when you sign up for Partner Driven and you actually, you know, go through this process, we're already saying you're successful, but you have to do the work. As long as you're doing the work, we're going to be committed to help you. Once you say, I can't do this no more, I quit, I don't want to do it. We're going to try to encourage you to continue. But if you just continue to be going the other way, there's nothing much we can do for you. So, you know, that's the, the honest truth. Uh, we're almost out of time. One thing I did want to say, because you mentioned it, Steph, you know, about pulling comps and the deal driven app. And I just wanted to show this real quick. Um, one of the things that got changed, if I can share this. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, on the deal driven app, guys, you can actually, you know, pull comps on it. Once you add a property to your property list and you actually go into the details page, you're going to get some information. You're going to see this valuation. This is always there. Uh, we talked about this earlier this morning, what that meant, but comparable. So this house is a three bedroom, two bath house. So what we've done now is that we're able to kind of pinpoint a little bit more with accuracy about the comps. And so when the map opens up, you're going to see the subject property right here. It's a three bedroom, two bath house, okay? Got the map over here and it's up here is going to do a search by default of two mile radius and it's gonna go for sales a year and a half ago. Well, we know in this economy, in this market, prices change on a weekly. They are slowing down, but they change on a weekly. So now you can adjust to the last six months of sales we're going to make another upgrade change where you can do the last 90 days. That should be coming uh, either at the end of the week or next week. But for now, you can do the last six months of sales. All right. Then what you want to do is you want to zoom out to you see this two mile radius ring. And you always want to go as close to the subject property as possible. So what you do is you just grab one of these buttons here and you just bring it in. All right. It's going to get close to the subject property. Right, we're with like a half a mile away, and we really got a whole bunch of them right here. So I want to go a little bit closer. So I'm just going to go, zoop. So that way, it's actually going to pull all the three bedroom, two bathrooms houses that sold in the last six months or less, and that's going to give me my average sale price. What a three bedroom, two bath would sell for in this area. 
Now you can actually do a drop down menu, look at the property, right? You can see how much it sold for the last sale price, when that date was, the type of bedroom and everything, bathroom, square footage is within 200 plus or minus of the subject property. So it's good. That's a good comp. You got another one right here. It got sold, same distance almost. So this is how we run our numbers. This is one of the things that the deal driven app can do. And I just wanted to show you this, that we're always improving on the app. We want you guys to be able to utilize this. So if you want to be a partner, you guys know what to do. I'm going to stop my share. <laughs> Go in, make that call, get on that, uh, that, that, that uh, link, make the call at 770-746-8585. Anybody got anything else they want to say before we pop off well, this I call? I wanted to add, I saw somebody make, uh, ask the question, um, can you do this uh, business if you don't have a car, if you don't have a vehicle? And I would always say any resources you have always make it easier. But um, it really goes back to what Bob said uh, uh, originally. It really boils down to your um, level of commitment. You know, if you're going to put in the time, you know, I've had some people say, well, I don't have a car right now. I can't do driving for dollars or I can't go here or there. And then I've talked to people. Um, there was one guy in particular. He said, I don't have a car right now, but I've got a friend of mine who's got a car. And so I called him up and asked him if he'd take me around and if I did any deals on these properties that I would split them with him if he was willing to give me a ride in some di different neighborhoods. So you've got to be creative. You've got to decide what, I I'll put it this way. Somebody told me once, your level of commitment is only as strong as whatever the smallest thing is that'll derail you. You know, so if just a little shove like this is all it takes to derail it, then you're not truly committed. You know, but if you're saying, I'm going to make this work, I'm going to figure out how to make this work. Uh, I want to figure out what options I have. Now, there's still options that you can do without driving for dollars. There's lead, you know, lists that you can pull through the deal driven app. We've got the uh, deal engine CRM that you can organize your stuff. But that's just one component of all the various things that you can do in order to, to do this business. So um, it's not about saying, oh, can you do it with just this or can you do it with just that? There's lots of different little things in there that you can do and that one thing might work. But what if that one thing is not working out so great for you? Does that mean, oh, that one thing's not working for me. I'm gonna have to back off of this. I can't do this. No, you might have to try some other things. So it's about, are you committed enough to say, I'm going to figure out what things will work and what resources I do have access to, uh, to make this work. Yeah. So. And let me just, let me just jump on that too. Uh, so one of the things I do is I teach mindset because it all starts in the mind and um, guys, if you want to know um, if you're capable of this, here's what I want you to do. Go onto YouTube and type in growth mindset. Just do a research on growth mindset. The only people who can't succeed in this have a fixed mindset. A growth mindset finds ways to adapt and overcome. And let me give you just one way that, that Partner Driven does that. Um, I work during the day. I do, I'm pretty busy during coaches, coaching and everything else. So what I do is I put in 200 leads and I send them a text. At the end of the day, I used to call, I used to try and make 50 calls a day. Can't be done not with my schedule and not with how tired I am and not with the fact that I've got a new puppy. But here's what I can do. If I put in 200 leads and I come back and I've got seven people saying, yeah, I'd be interested in, in selling this property. Great. Now I have seven calls to make to people who already know why I'm calling and people who already told me they want to sell. Too easy. So take, take a look at YouTube, Growth Mindset. There's a great book uh, by a, a lady named Carol Dweck called Mindset that I'm teaching to some people right now and um, and decide whether you're a chicken or a pig. All right. Yep. Great stuff, guys. Uh, so guys, we appreciate you being on the call. Uh, next week, Peter and Julie will be back in this time slot. But if we ever get a chance to do it again, yes, it's going to be Takeover Tuesday by the coaches. We're going to do what we do. We may even have a comedy show with Bob. I don't know. Bob is a great comedian, guys. I don't know. <laughs> if y'all don't know that, he is. He's hilarious. He cracks me up every time. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, so thank you for being on the call. Uh, make that phone call to that number. Make sure you understand. What's the number again, Barry? 
770-746-8585. You know what, Earl Shive doing a paint job. I know, that's right, Doug. <laughs> All right, guys, you guys have a great evening, and right. we'll talk to you soon. All right. Talk to have you later. a great one, everybody. Bye.